Well, moving on, have you ever dreamt of sending a message into deep space? Well, this weekend, Aussies of all ages will be given this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity at the Sydney Science Festival. So this year, the event spans workshops, talks and hands-on experiences with international astronauts, space scientists and much more. Joining us to tell us all about it, director of the Powerhouse program, Claire Holland, along with scientist and space nutritionist, Dr Flavia Fayette-Moore. Good to see you both. Hey, Claire, broadcasting Good a morning, message morning. into the cosmos sounds... Uh, pretty epic. How, how does it actually work, the project? Well, 50 years ago, uh, we sent a golden record to space on the Voyager 1. Um, and we have the chance to do that again. So we're asking people from all around the world to work with us, Powerhouse, and Dr Maya Nazar and MIT, um, to record a message that will get sent into deep space. And it, people will have the opportunity to answer the question, um, what message would you like to send and, and what do we want to remember about life on Earth? So there's an opportunity for people to come down to Parramatta Square today and record that message. Or people can also do it online all around the world and all across Australia. Mm. God, and then so we'll be broadcasting that message 50 year, uh, on the 50th anniversary um, of that golden record being sent to space in 2027. Okay, so what, what, what kind of messages are people sending into space? <laughs> Hello! <laughs> All kinds of different things and it's been really beautiful to see. Some people are talking about, you know, traits or qualities that they think about humanity, things, lessons that we want to learn, things we want to remember. I like to think that, you know, to remind people we're all stardust, we're all yeah. already on a planet. So it's been really interesting to see, um, you know, the breadth of, of things that people are thinking about sending. There you go, you're stardust, Lizzie. <laughs> uh, Dr Flavia, now to we you. All are. Exactly. Uh, you're doing remarkable work in, in the future of space food. What, what does that all look like? What could we grow in space? Yeah, so the future of space food will definitely include mushrooms. So we sent them up to space earlier this year, Australian-led study, where I was the, pri the primary investigator, where we sent oyster mushrooms into orbit with Australian explorer and astronaut Eric Phillips. And they actually grew, so they're super resilient crops that are definitely going to be on the future menu. But there's also going to be loads of different plants like sweet potato, chickpea, potentially duckweed, which Australian researchers are working on as well. And we're also going to have um, protestate. So it's like your algae and seaweed. It's a different biological kingdom to both plants and fungi. And of course, we're going to have some animals too, perhaps insects and maybe even lab-grown meat. Okay. Yeah. Imagine those aliens just sitting back there going, look at those silly little humans <laughs> growing their <laughs> mushrooms. Grow mushrooms. They might taste better than those space food sticks yeah. we used to eat as kids. Um, hey, Dr Flavia, this must be pretty inspirational for, for kids and, and young Aussies, you know, talking about all of this space food and, and the, the infinity and beyond all that stuff. It must be pretty insp inspirational. Yeah, so space sticks actually was sent to space, but it wasn't part of the space food system. <laughs> But the, the big thing about working with food is that anyone can work in space. So often people think it's just astronauts or engineers. I'm a nutritionist and dietitian and I'm working in the space sector. So you can be a farmer, you can be a chef. The whole food system still needs to be figured out for Mars. It's a red risk by NASA. We don't have a solution. So perhaps as we are giving kids, these mushroom growing kids in their classrooms today, they're going to be the ones that are going to create our food system on Mars. So you can also have artists. Yeah. Anyone can be in space and cool. we can use space to help advance what we do here on Earth. Okay, just quickly, Claire, to you, how can people get along and check things out today? All they need to do is head to Parramatta Square. It's from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's free and hopefully there's something for everyone. Space sticks and all. Sounds like it. Thank you so much, <laughs> Thanks, ladies. Guys. Good luck with it. <laughs>